YouTube channel. It's your girl Duns, and I'm here to talk about my pregnancy journey. Yes, for the past how many videos? You've heard that we were pregnant for the last year, and no, that's not why we stopped doing YouTube. But in case you're just watching this video, then we're back. Um, so we found out that we were pregnant i think a year ago basically or almost a year ago we found out that we were pregnant so how i found out i was pregnant like it was october everybody knows it's breast cancer month and everything and then i listened to this podcast about this um this lady that had breast cancer and it was you know pregnancy she was pregnant at the time um, when she had a breast cancer anyway so you know I started to you know try to see if I'm okay and if there's anything there anyway I was fine <laughs> after a couple weeks and thing I started to feel like some pain in my breast you see and then I'm like no man this don't feel right so I said, Lando, healthcare free, and I need to go to the doctor because I may not stay at Canada. Healthcare free, I may have any type of cancer, and I don't do something about it. So I was watching the pain, you know, we as Jamaica, and well, this is never gas pain. I was watching the pain, and I'm like, all right, probably need to go to the doctor. I mean the pain was so bad like if I even like my hand even touch anywhere near my boobs it would be it would hurt so I said you know Orlando I don't feel well so I think we need to do a test he's like no mind over matter no no deal you don't pregnant yeah 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 like okay so then probably a day or a couple of days after i'm like you know what oh we're i think we're we we're gonna buy something at this the supermarket some groceries or something and i said i am coming and i'm going to buy a test and i am gonna do it because i need to know why why i have this pain and i need to rule out breast cancer <laughs> anyway so landa said all right if it make you happy um we're gonna do it by going we're going to do the test fine so we'll go by the test and i told him that it has to be the clear blue because i need to see the word not pregnant or pregnant because i didn't have the time to try and look if the line faint or if there's no line or there's a line or whatever no i wanted the one that says pregnant or not pregnant anyway we got that one came with two stick one with the line of course and one um the other stick was pregnant or not pregnant come home do the test and of course pregnant i'm like what but as my dear friend would say if you're putting in the work what you expect <laughs> anyway guys so that's how i found out i um was pregnant it was a shocker not really but it was a shock you know if i know you're pregnant you shock and then um we went to the uh, we called the doctor and told him that you know we found out that we were pregnant and um we want to do a checkup and everything so I did so they I went to the doc we went to the doctor I think the Saturday after that anyway so we did that and then I had to do a lot of blood tests a lot of blood tests like these days if you say I give me injection okay fine used to it <laughs> so anyway um we did it we booked the appointments, we got the blood test, we did another, we did a test where here you can do a test where you can find out if the child would have any birth defects 
um like down syndrome or anything and you do a you do a ultrasound an ultrasound and a blood test so we did that we're fine he's good and then there we had the other um ultrasound which is the um the gender reveal technically it's not a gender reveal um ultrasound but everybody everybody would say it's to find out the gender but technically if that scan i think it's at 19 weeks around that time where they look at all the organs of the baby and the bone structure and everything to see if the baby is growing and is well everything is fine and of course we got a little card that have the gender i didn't tell i only told my immediate co-workers like the ones that were in the room with me that i was pregnant because there were times when i would have to run out to throw up because i had five months of morning sickness so of course i had to tell them early 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 but my other co-workers i didn't tell them until like a week before i found out the gender of the the baby so i told them at four months and the thing is it was winter so i have what the clothes that i was wearing at that time was the normal clothes that I would wear during winter, sweater tops, winter jacket, everything, and my belly held up. And it's like the day when I told them, like I told them the Thursday at a staff meeting, and then by the Monday, my belly just, whew, it's like, ah, oh, you were waiting on me to talk. But anyway, so that's that. Um, then I worked up until I think 37 weeks and then I had him at 39 weeks pregnant and yeah guys if you want to have a baby come to Canada maternity leave is a year maternity slash parental leave is a year and you can do extended parental leave which is 18 months but that's no that's 33 percent of your salary and i'm not about that life so i took the 12 months which is 55 percent of your salary that's what you're getting every month anyway and also i think for the entire labor and delivery at the hospital we only spent i don't even know less than less than 30 dollars thereabouts and that was for parking and for Lando's food. That's it. Went into the hospital, got my um, induction and everything, had the baby, came out of the hospital, and all I said was, okay, we're ready to go, and they checked the car seat, and we're like, okay, bye. <laughs> we didn't have to pay anything and we had to go back to the hospital because the baby had jaundice and they gave us a bigger room and at the end of it we're like okay bye left the hospital still no money so yeah come to canada and have a baby if you want to and if you're not ready to have a child don't make nobody pressure you for having a child because trust me it's 24 7 and them take a lot of work but you love them we love them we love him <laughs> but yeah guys so that's basically my uh, pregnancy journey i mean i think i've missed some things i'm not sure oh i didn't have gestational diabetes or anything like that i did the test and everything no pre-eclampsia so i knew yeah nothing at all it was other than the morning sickness everything else was really really good and now he's here and we're happy that he's here we're happy that he's healthy and he is well and he's the love of my life the love of our lives and yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye